Welcome back to more Sunday League football. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. It is, of course, now time to bring you some action from our reserve team. Today's a pretty weak squad, not because of numbers, because of injuries. Our opponents for today go by the name of Billy. We played them on the first day of the season, but they have strengthened since our old rival Scruttons. They folded, and Billy have done well to acquire some of their players. The league table looks like this. We are top of the league, say so we are top of the league. Our opponents down in sixth, but I'd expect them to press on now. They've got their new players on board. But right now, it continues to be a two-horse race between us and Waka Duna in second. You can see most of them out there, but let's find out who's here today. Starting in between the six in a league game, interesting enough, is Sean. You'll find out why in a second. Back four is Jordan, an injured Gonzo, Pep and Waza. Then in the centre midfield, we've got Liam. The reason Sean's in goal, we've got Frank out there too, as well as Greavesy. On the wings, we've got Charlie and Hassan. And then finally up top is Big Shove. Now, normally three subs on the bench would be a good thing. But in addition to all the injuries out there, we've got an injured Ainsley. We've got a one-leg Kev and Sam's just come off at the back of a night shift. And now you might understand why our first choice keeper will be hobbling around. That's right, he's injured too in the centre of midfield today. It's a good day to play us. Let's hope we can still get the three points, though. Should we do this? Of course. Let's do this. OK, so we start things off quite positively with Hassan making his way over the halfway line there. 18 with a slide, but that falls to shove on this near side. He's waiting for the bods to get into the box as he sticks this one in. It's off of the number 10, and that's out for the corner. And so Charlie is going to deliver this corner. It's over Frank's head. I think the defender got a touch on it there to send it clear, but Pep heads it back in. Shove gets a touch, headed out by the number 3 towards the edge of the box where Charlie is. He then does well to cut it back to Liam, who's going to go round his man here. He's going to get the shot in as well, but that is blocked by the number five. It falls to Hassan. Number five in again, wins the challenge. And after all that, Billet can clear their lines. Clearance up the field from the number 10. You're going to hear a lot of this today. Right, you're all in the way. Ainsley, Kev. Charlotte has spoken. You do as you're told. Down the other end now, and it's our opponents with a long throw into the box. I believe Frank gets his head on that there. And that's going to be a corner. And so that corner is going to be delivered into the box by the 18. Oh. Yep, we filmed it, mate, just like last time when you didn't get elbowed in the face. Let's look back at what happened anyway. Here the both of them are, and as Ainsley looks to turn away, it looks like there is contact there from Ainsley's arm, but it hits his shoulder at best. Elbow to the face? Don't know about that, mate. Where's your blood on it? Let's have a look back anyway. It was a good whip into the box and it was the ex Scruttons number nine there. We've got his head on it. Looks like he wasn't tight enough on him. He only needed to glance it. Sean saw it late. And just like that, we find ourselves 1 0 down. Yeah, not the ideal start, but let's see if we can get back into this. Kick off. So we continue with Hassan on this near side. He's going to skip past the number 10, first of all. Ride the challenge of the number four. He's then going to look to take on the number five, which he has. Makes his way towards the edge of the box and fires a P roller. Did the hard bit. That's a simple one for the keeper. Now, previous to this throw, we didn't catch it because the camera's too zoomed in. Number 10 had already done two foul throws. I said to the ref, keep it on his back foot, please. So here we go. Boom. Three out of three foul throws. Did the ref notice? No, of course he didn't. But it's Frank that wins the header there. He goes up towards shove. He looks to go bebeyond the number 10, but it's a good tackle. That's out for our throw now. Greaves with two feet on the floor, throws it into the box. Frank heads it on, and it's Hassan that slices his first chance. Has a go with the second, but he sees that go around the wrong side of the post. We move on, and we're back again with our foul throw, friend. Can he make it four out of four? Here we go. Boom. Nailed it. And does the ref notice? Of course he doesn't. After I've told him time and time again. One thing he does notice is the shove on shove here. That's a free kick. Well spotted. So it's Charlie that sends this one into the box. Shove rises high, gets his head on it, but can't direct it towards goal. We continue with the number five send this one up the field. Gons gets onto it, but it's a heavy touch there. Well, it is Gons. That's no. Gons. Oh. So, Rush giving a free kick to our opponents for the lunge, but it is Gonzo that's come off the worst. Still fragile after coming back from injury. It looks like he's going to be spending the Christmas break nursing that groin. So, on the subs, we've got a one leg Kev, we've got an injured Ainsley, and we've got a sleep deprived Sam. Who do we go with? It's going to have to be Sam. The free kick's taken by the number 18. Gonzo's not even off the field at this point. I think the last touch has come off a billet plan. That's a goal kick. Ainsley. Good little period for Billet as number 18 who's been running things for them in this game. Puts it out to the number 9 who gets the better of Jordan. As he makes his way into the box, looks up, sticks it across. <laughs> Yeah, on a plate for number 11, though. Couldn't get a touch. And just for his information, yeah, we filmed it. Here's Liam now in the middle of the park. Under pressure from the number 8. Does well to get away from him. He spreads it out to this near side for Waza. He then just about gets beyond his man as he puts this forward for shove. It's a first-time flick, but that's to nobody. But that is cleared. Only as far as Liam, though, as Frank picks up the loose ball. Goes over the number 4. Then tries it again with a 5. Hey, Yep, free kick. This time it's Greasy that steps up, hits it off of the wall, and that's out for the corner. Charlie's going to take that corner over the far side, and the last touch comes off of Frank's shoulder. That's going to roll out for a throw on this near side. We continue with Wazo, who looks to go beyond the number three here. Does so. Almost runs into trouble with the 18, but it does fall kindly to Sam. He then plays it forward to Shove, who looks to play it back, but it's cut out. Number eight picks it up. Shove wins it back for Frank. Yeah! Get in there! 
there's the equaliser, and in true Sunday League fashion, it's our goalkeeper that scores. For those that are new to the channel, we've actually seen Frank score before. A hat-trick, in fact. That was pre-season. He was up front that day. Today, he's in the centre midfield. Normally, he's our goalkeeper. Looks like he's slowly turning into a bit of a utility man for this team. Much like the majority of the players, they're always having to swap around positions. And on days like this, it can certainly come in handy. As Palmer's FC reserves one, Billet one. Kick off. As the clock ticks on, we're looking to get the lead before half-time. As Charlie comes forward here, completely taken out by the number four. That's going to be a free kick, which Liam is going to take short. It's across to Greavesy, who's got a bit of space, and he's going to shoot from distance here. But unfortunately, he's dragged that well wide. He's better if he's back to goal anyway. He's number 18 now, with what I can only describe as great accuracy. Doink, straight on the back of the head of the 11 there. Greavesy showing his strength to win it back for us. Oh, f off! Ref not liking the challenge, though. That's a free kick. So it's 18 to step up and take this. Oh. Yeah, great work from Frank, and he's asked to block that one there. Is Sam now getting involved, but getting hacked down by the number three. Great. Is Greavesy now sending this one into the box? On the end of it is the number eight, but he's put across to the ten. And just like that, it's all square at the break. Time for a few shout outs. In fact, I'm going to try and fit a few more in today because it's absolutely exploded. You don't see yourself in this one, you'll 100% be in the next one or two or three because there's so many to get through. Christmas arrived and plenty of you got Palmer's FC merch this year, including Adam. He's got the away kit. It's a big favourite amongst a lot of you. And shout out to Kit Locker as well for getting this one in time for Christmas. I can confirm there's a Palmer shirt in South Wales, thanks to Ryan. He's also grabbed his name and number seven on the back. Looking good, my friend. Looks like Sophie's little one has grabbed a kit. Hadley, number 16. And apparently, it's the best Christmas present ever. I have to agree. And one who agrees is Joshua Knowles. Not Joshua Knowles from the 18. This just happens to be another Joshua Knowles. He's got his own name, or Knowlesy, whatever way you want to look at it. And his Sunday league number, number 11. Enjoy your new kit, my man. Now, I did mention the away shirts were popular, and look what Pete has got his son, the away kit. I'm personally still torn between the orange and blue. But like I say to everybody, thank you for your support. One final one, and this is Nick, and he's taking the words right out of my mouth. He's showing a bit of love to the goalkeepers. And I know the likes of Jack, Frank, Sean, Big Lee, and of course, latest signing Garen, they'll certainly be feeling the love. It's a lonely, lonely place being a goalkeeper. Obviously, keep sending your photos in. Make sure you follow us on the socials as well. And as I say, if you didn't see yourself in this video, you will see yourself in the next coming weeks. I promise you, we've just got tons and tons to get through. Anyway, let's get on with this second half. Currently in the balance at 1-0. Let's see if we can grab all three points now. That's worth pointing out that the boys are having to dig deep today. They're, they're absolutely shattered, carrying injuries, just like Jordan here. Jordan, follow me down. Come on, come on. Come on, come on Jordan! I said to the boys at half time, come the end of the season, if this ends in a draw, you might be looking back at this result and thinking, why didn't I put that extra little bit in? So I'm hoping they're going to go out now really up for this. We've got a slight advantage with the heel as well. Straight away, we've grabbed ourselves a corner, thanks to Charlie. And it's Charlie that's going to send this one in. It's a looping ball. Comes off the back of Shove's head rather than towards goal. And Hassan is going to keep this one in. Ains. Yep, there's Ainsley in the way again. Fast becoming the Tomo of this team as Jordan plays it across to Liam. And it's a first time ball from him. Scuffed it, but it has arrived with Frank, who puts it across one more to Sam. Sam's going to try and take on his man. Fails to do so, but it's picked up by Charlie, who goes beyond the first man. And the second, one, two, between him and Pep. Now he's in on goal. Oh, yeah, great save from the keeper there, but it's still in as Sam puts this across the box for shove. It's off at the back of the number two and out for another corner. Positive start from the lads there as Charlie takes this corner. It's up towards Frank, but I've seen a foul there somewhere. That's a free kick to our opponents. Meanwhile, up the other end, we could be in a little bit of trouble as number 11 picks it up on this near side. He's going to play it back onto the edge for the goal scorer, number nine for Billet. But Liam does well to cut that one out. Still got it, mind you, though, as he plays it back to the 18. But Sam, it's good running from him to get back and then play it out to Charlie. I say good running. He's bombing forward. You can see it here as Charlie puts it beyond the number 10. Keeps the ball in over that far side. He's going to look to go beyond the number 4 as well. He has 50-50 here. And he's gone through him as well. Lovely flick from Sam into the path of shove. Sits the keeper down. Open goal. Yeah! 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 Now, my friends, is how you count a shove. Guaranteed us a goal every game, and he's done it so far. Shove, of course, will get the plaudits, but big shout out to Charlie for not stopping there. And Sam, of course, getting the ball back in the first place and running forward and flicking it onto shove to be able to do this. That little step there has completely sat the keeper down on his ass, and it's a simple tap in at the end. And just like that, he grabs his sixth goal of the season. And of course, our second in this game is Palmer's FC Reserves 2, Billet 1. Kick off. Defending from the front now, a shove puts the number two under, is made to go back to the five. Back Great back pressure, boys. Come on. Shouts from the sideline for the free kick as the number five left his knee in on Hassan, but nothing was given until Greavesy runs past him. We've obviously missed something as the camera keeps up with the play. As we come back, it's all boiled over. Both teams actually doing well to keep both players away from each other. Then that thing where every single player on the pitch gets involved. Nothing's happened, it's just all talk. Eventually, all fizzes out and Billet give the ball back to us as we had possession at that time. And now we continue from a throw from Jordan, which is headed clear by the number two. Picked up by Charlie, who's going to look to go beyond him, but ends up getting sandwiched. Hey, and the winner of the worst free kick ever goes to Liam. What's that? Why is he got a chance to put it in the box? 
complacency continues. Here is Charlie, puts it across to, well, nobody, and it's given straight back to our opponents as it's put over the top for the number 11. Just got Greavesy to take on. He's got number nine bombing forward, number three in support, which he uses. Number three plays it back to 11. Eleven dead certain there that he's actually just equalised for his team, but turns out it's not the case. Oh yeah, and by the way, we filmed it. Now when I first saw this, I thought the eleven was well offside. Turns out he wasn't. He's actually his teammate number nine, who's not involved at this stage. Here is initially where I thought it was offside. It was played towards the number eleven, but it's actually the number nine who's getting involved in this play by blocking off Greasy and taking him out. I say he didn't touch the ball, but he certainly had an influence on how this panned out. Sheer joy from the eleven as he thought this one was the equaliser. And that's now turned into sheer anger. He's not happy with the ref's decision there, but decision is final. We've got to get on with the game. No, we're not. He's going to argue with us hand now. He's, he's lost the plot, this one. Needs to calm down, because right now he's holding this game up. Looks like we are ready to go now. Greaves is standing over this one. No, sorry, people. I do apologise. He's still going. This time he's back at the ref. If he's not careful, he could get sent off and let his team down. I mean, I'd have given him a yellow for the first one, and certainly a second by now. You know what? The ref has actually pulled the card out, finally. That's £10 to SXFA. Hopefully he'll shut up now. Luckily for everyone, and himself, of course, he did shut up, and he puts this ball across the box not long after. Nobody could get onto the end of it, other than Wazza, who gets beyond his man there, and now we can get on our way. Wazza then spots Frank in a little bit of space who plays a first time ball over the halfway line into Sam who's a bit of an outlet in these sort of games quickest player by far out there we definitely need to use him more as he plays the ball inside to Charlie who finds himself on the edge of the box tees it up on his left oh. Oh. Not long after that, Frank's day is unfortunately done. He's put a real shift out there today. His knee is just not letting him go on anymore, so we have to make a substitution. And that substitution is an injured Ainsley. So it's one injured player for another. Let's hope he's got enough in the tank to last till the end. 50-50 in the middle of the park, which Sam gets onto. Nice little flick from him into the path of Ainsley, who sticks it over the top for Shove. It's a bit beyond him, but it's given back to him by the number five. Now it's all about the skills, as Shove says, see you later. He's almost through, but number two gets there. Loose ball falls to Charlie on that far side. He's going to take this shot here. Keeper saves it, but parries it out to Hassan. Oh. No! Oh. Listen, Hassan, I've got your back, mate. That was a fantastic pass out to Charlie on the far side. He plays it past the 15, back to Hassan, who's got Jordan in space. He's going to play it across to him. Jordan with a shot now. Keep is equal to it, but gives it back to Shove in the process. Number two, number nine, look to get it off of him. Number nine, half clears as it falls to Ainsley. Ainsley! Yeah! Yeah! And there you have it, Ainsley grabs his first ever goal for Palmer's FC. And just as I hope, the boys have definitely shown up in this second half. How the ball didn't hit the back of the net before that, I don't know how. Charlie had a chance, Hassan had a chance, then Jordan, then Shove. But eventually it did fall to Ainsley. And in the end, we got what we deserved, as Palmer's FC reserves free. Billet one. Kick off. Playing it out from the back now with Sam and Charlie. Charlie under pressure straight away here, but it falls to Sam, and he can get us on our way. Nuts. That ball is then picked up by Shove. Hassan's making a run here, and he spotted it as well as he puts it through. Number five's not even looking at him here. The keeper is off the line to collect easily. He then throws it out to the number two, and he can then turn and bring it forward for his team. But it's a heavy touch here, which Shove gets onto. Defending from the front, like I say, he's actually caught as well. The ref's actually brought that back for a free kick. Ainsley's going to be the one to deliver this into the box. It's towards Shove as well. He gets his head on it, but that is going to be easy for the keeper. And that was, in fact, Shove's last bit of action. He's going to be replaced by Kev. We're back up the other end now with Sean, who's collected an overhit ball, and now he's going to send it back down the other end. The big kick from him over the halfway line. It bounces over the number two and Hassan, and it's one leg Kev to pick it up on this near side. He's going to go beyond the number six. As he makes his way forward, he's going to look up and spot Sam at the back post here. It's over the number three's head into Sam, who's going to hit this over the bar. That could have well and truly wrapped this up. Here's Kev now with his robo leg. It's not keeping him out of this game. He's well involved, in fact. Number five bundling Charlie over there. Shouts for a penalty not given. How about now? <laughs> there it is. The second time of asking, and Charlie's going to get up and take this one as well. Here we go. I guess a touch a bit of light by the side. It's been yeah! And there you have it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Charlie grabs his fourth of the season and our fourth of the game. I think that's time for a kickoff. Not long after that kickoff, we're trying to go forward for a fifth as Ainsley lays it off to Liam. He takes a touch and scoops it over the top towards Sam. He's going to leave it here for Charlie to run onto. And just like that, he's in on goal. Number five's got other plans, though. Completely missed time. Hacked down. That's going to be another penalty. Question is, can he get his second in as many minutes? Yeah, great save from the keeper there. He spilt it, but that's going to be a foul as Wazza puts it into the back of the net. Score stays 4-1. So the keeper takes that free kick as it's sent out to the number 10 on that far side. Yes, and just like that, the ref calls time on this game. It ends 4-1. Touch and go in the first half. Pretty even, but we came out in the second half. Completely bossed it and deservedly got the win in the end. So with that, the league table looks like this. We stay on top with 100% record, but what can Duna get in another double figures win there? 16-0. 
they beat Real Sporting. Like I said, at the end of most of these videos, we're just waiting for the two big fixtures of the season to come. It's the ones against Wok and Duna. Follow us on the socials, and as soon as we know, you will know. But for now, that is it. Massive thank you for all your support this year. Hope you have a fantastic new year, and of course, we will see you in the next one.